Tara, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you guys my May favorites. All right, so for the month of May, I don't really have that many products to share. At least I feel that there's not much, but that's because I have been very, very exhausted and very, very busy from work and all that kind of thing. So I, a lot of the things I've been using for the whole month, they're actually similar to the ones or the favorites that I mentioned in my previous favorites video, which is my April favorites. So without wasting any more time, let's get on with my favorites. To switch things up a bit, I'm going to start off with skincare products. So the first new item that I've been trying for the whole month of May is the Shu Umura Blanc Chroma Brightening and Polishing Gentle Cleansing Oil and it just looks like that. I actually hauled this in my Sephora member sale haul which I will link down below and in the card section at the top right hand corner of your screen. I heard a lot of things about the Shu Umura Cleansing Oil so I decided to pick it up and I love it. Like you might think that you know cleansing oils will make your face oily and it will leave an oily residue residue and all that kind of things but it actually doesn't and it removes my makeup so quickly it breaks it down almost immediately when the cleansing oil touches my face it is that awesome so um, what happens is that you pump it on your palms, dry palms or wet palms up to you um, I use my dry palms and my face is like full of makeup and it's dry. I pump this into my palms and I rub it in between my hands and then I massage it on my face. And then I will take some water on my hands to emulsify the oil and I will rub it onto my face and you will see that the oil actually becomes milky. And you just continue massaging and rinsing off all the cleansing oil and all of the makeup will actually just like be removed. And it sounds gimmicky but it's actually not like I've tried using this and then after I've washed all my makeup off I took a makeup wipe and I just you know cleaned my face just to see whether there was any residue left there wasn't any residue left so I highly recommend this and the one that I got is the brightening and polishing one but there are actually different like versions of it so you can go and check it out at Sephora or Shu Umura standalone stores I will also link down below a daily vanity article where we talk about the Shu Umura cleansing oil but it's another version and you can actually um, scroll down to the end of the article where you can actually redeem your own sample um, size of this like a deluxe sample so that you can try it for yourself the next item is actually an exfoliator and I've actually used this for the last couple of months but I've only started using it regularly in my skincare routine especially for like my weekend skincare routine when at the end of the week I just wanna you know um, Pay more attention to my skin. So this is the Skin Ink Pure Revival Peel. I've heard so many good things about this. And basically this is an exfoliating gel. So what you do is that you just pump it onto your, your palms and just smooth it all over your face. And then once it starts to get milky or you just leave it for around 10 seconds, you start like massaging your face. And then you will notice all this residue and that's actually your dead skin. After I use this um, Pure Revival Peel, I feel that my skin looks so much brighter as compared to before I used this Pure Revival Peel. But it's only recommended for you to use it between 2-3 to three times a week. But for me, I use it every once a week. And no, this does not contain any microbeads or exfoliating microbead thingies to exfoliate the skin. So it's really, really gentle. And my last favourite skincare item of the month is actually this. And I'm sure you've heard so many things about this already. This is the Vietnamese um, white mask. Basically, this is like the best pore removal I've ever tried in my life. And it is dirt cheap. It's like $5. And it does such a dang good job at removing all the pores and all the disgusting crap on your face in your pores. It is so awesome. I got this from an Instagram shop and I will link it down below in the description box. I saw them at a flea and I decided to buy it from them. They sell it at $5 each but I also know that you can get them from Kuten for also $5 or maybe cheaper. But if you have like clogged pores or you have trouble removing like uh, your whiteheads, blackheads or whatever right and you've tried the Biore pore strips and every other pore strips but it doesn't work 
I highly recommend this one because I guarantee you it works and secondly it is very very satisfying when you like peel off the paper and then you see all the the junk it's like it's disgusting but it's like whoo so shook that kind of thing I just feel like it's very shook lah, but that's just me I may be weird not sure. Now on to makeup. This is a rediscovery and it is my beauty blender. I'm so sorry it looks disgusting because I just used it today. Um, I have recently got back to using my beauty blender to blend out my foundation and also my concealer. And I've just been enjoying using this because I feel that it gives such a um, like flawless finish. The next thing is something relatively new and this is the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. And again, I hauled this in my last Sephora haul. Guys, if you have like, if you like me have dry lips and you have like lines on your lips which is, I hate it and you have problems with your lipstick like bleeding or staying put for a really long time, I highly highly recommend the MAC Prep and Prime um, Lip Primer. I was very very like um, amazed at this product because when I used it and I put on my liquid lipstick, it actually did not accentuate the lines on my lips and it also made my lip color last so so much longer and I noticed that like my lip color didn't bleed to the outside parts of my lips which is great this is the Kylie lip kit lip liner in the shade Posey K I actually got this along with the liquid lipstick and I've done um I've done an article reviewing and comparing the liquid the Kylie lip kit versus the ColourPop um, ultra matte lips and I will leave the article in the description box down below but if you want to see a video on me like comparing the two together so that you can see real time let me know in the comment section down below as a spoiler I'm not very impressed with the liquid lipstick uh, I find that for the price that you pay is really not worth it however I am a big fan of the lip liner I think the lip liner is so creamy it's so good it helps all my lip colors to stay within my lip line and it doesn't bleed it doesn't smudge once it sets and it's just very very easy to use and i love this color it's like a movie color what's new and the last lip products i have for you guys for the month of may are these things these are the lancome juicy shakers they are available at sephora for 36 dollars recently i had to write up a story based on this um, lancome juicy shakers for work and i have i had to try them on like every single day for like a whole week and after that i actually realized that i really really like how this formula is on my lips it's basically like a lip oil and it has half pigment and half lip oil with like all these nourishing properties. I have been really enjoying this because my lips have been really dry and sometimes in the morning when I don't feel like putting on lipstick straight away before I leave the house, I will actually just pop this on. It has a tint to it so it gives my lips some colour. It makes my lips look really juicy and shiny and mind you, I'm not really a big fan of like shiny lips but this, this is an exception. They are really cute as well. They look like cocktail shakers and their application, application? And their applicator is really cute as well. It's this sponge tip applicator and oh my god, the smell is amazing. Like depending on what shade you get, it will smell like the name and the names are so punny. It's just really really up my alley. And yeah, I've just been really liking these products for like the aesthetics and also the nourishing um, properties that it has. And to wrap up my May favourite, it is this baby right here. This is my Tartlet in Bloom palette and I have just been using this palette exclusively for the whole month of May ever since I got it from the sale, the Sephora sale. I don't know why mine squeaks quite a lot. It annoys me. Do you own this and does this happen to you? I don't know why but anyway so this is I think I've shown you guys how it looks like in the haul video but this is my favorite color this is called funny girl and my favorite crease color from this palette is actually um, I think it's called sweetheart and smarty pants I've just been enjoying this palette a lot it's really buttery pigmented and very easy to blend and it's perfect for an everyday eyeshadow look 
All right, you guys, so that's all I have for you guys today for my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet or if you want to see more videos from me. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your favorites for the month of May because I'd love to find out what they are. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!